I set up with my watercolor kit on the homemade sketch easel. And I draw it in pencil first, trying to match the forms as closely as I can. Once I do that, then I can start out with some gouache paint, opaque watercolor. And again, I'm starting this time with large areas in the background. Mainly the dark greens of the foliage behind it. What I'm trying to do is to really uh, work my way down to the details and focus first on getting the big blocky shapes right. I can always come back and go back and forth with the gouache, uh, foreground to background, background to foreground, overlapping light and dark, dark and light. Um, so it doesn't, you don't have to go strictly foreground to background. Even the finest details with a small brush like this, I can uh, get fairly close in, but only paint the details that interest me the most and that are the most important part of the function of this. I'm kind of translating these forms in my mind to how they'll look to the robot, but by doing this study, I can really zoom in on the parts of the machine that interest me the most. You can take this photograph anywhere in the United States, so it's interesting that, uh, you know, it is so so normal for people to see, like, this environment. Think it would make a good uh, movie? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, probably. You gotta come see it. I swear to God. That looks fantastic. That's better than the movies. I like it. Here's a little, like, like a BMW four-door. It might be kind of fun. Or, yeah. You can even open it 